Hey all Josh here today, AKA the world's greatest dad. And we're getting darn close to that time of year where I go run around and chase critters in the woods. But before we do that, we gotta make sure all our gear and equipment is on point and on target. And the best way I found out to do that is using the Caldwell Lead Sled DFT. So today we're gonna chat about that piece of equipment a little bit and see if it might be the right thing for you too. So before we dive into this bad boy right here, I wanna let you know as much as I'd love to throw my rifle on here and show you how this thing really works, the powers that be are not too keen on firearms in these videos, so you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit, but I promise you'll get the gist of it. So first off, let's go ahead and cover why this is a must-have tool for any hunter or marksman out there. Number one, there's no better way to check your grouping patterns to determine the accuracy of your gun. And number two, you get a new scope. It's the best way to zero in that bad boy, or just to make sure your existing scope is still on point after it's been sitting in the gun cabinet all summer. Now, even if you think you're the greatest shot, this thing takes out all of the human error in the equation, and that way you can feel confident with your equipment when you're out in the field. So let's go ahead and dive into all the adjustments you can make, and let's start with the length adjustment. To adjust the length of this, we're simply gonna move up our clamps, and now it is free moving. It goes all the way out to 22 inches, and as you can imagine, you can pretty much put in any rifle or shotgun with this setting, and it moves all the way back down here where you can actually even zero in pistols or revolvers as well. Now, once we get it to where we want it set, all we do is simply clamp down this side, clamp down this side, and it's not moving. Another cool thing about the dual frame alignment system is the fact that because this is divided, you can actually fit the magazines in for ARs or AK rifles. So after we've adjusted the length, now we actually have two vertical adjustments we can make both on the front and on the back. So the front vertical adjustment, we're simply going to turn this wheel. And as you can see, that'll raise it up to where we want it. When we get it dialed in, we simply use this twist knob right here. That's gonna tighten up. And now that's gonna keep that thing nice and set. For our vertical adjustment on the back, all we simply do is rotate this to raise it up or rotate the other way to bring it back down. And a final adjustment will be our right to left wind adjustments for really fine tuning. And as you can see, you go clockwise to take it to the right or counterclockwise. And that's going to go ahead and adjust it to the left. And another nice feature is this weight tray that will actually hold up to 100 pounds. Now for larger calibers with more recoil, you can go ahead and add weighted bags to reduce any movement. But this thing itself already weighs 24 pounds, so it's already a heavy piece of equipment if you're shooting lighter rounds. So both the dual frame design and the padded butt rest help to disperse recoil energy, and that's gonna make it much easier on your shoulder when you're out firing off rounds. Now, another thing I wanna point out is just how well built this thing actually is. There's no plastic pieces on it. Everything is powder coated metal. And when you get it, it's gonna take you about 30 minutes max to put it together. And all you're gonna need is an Allen wrench and everything goes together with these Allen bolts right here. The lead sled I'm showing you today is actually the DFT original. Now, since then, Caldwell has came out with the DFT2, and there's not a lot of huge differences, but there are a couple. Number one, the front rest is a little bit different and it has a strap that goes across the top. And number two, it's an upgraded butt rest that's also supposed to help with recoil energy even more. Other than that, all your adjustments are exactly the same. So at this point, we've shown you everything you need to know about the lead sled, other than putting a gun in there and firing off a couple rounds ourselves. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen, so let's go ahead and close this video out. Now, at the end of the day, you can see why this is a must-have piece of equipment for any avid marksman or hunter out there. And I use this thing before every hunting season to make sure all of my equipment is 100% dialed in, and it just gives me so much more confidence knowing that if I miss a shot in the field, it's 100% me and not my equipment. It's for that reason I give this thing a world's greatest dad thumbs up and I say, go out and get you one.